Hello again. Last time we built a mob grinder out of my zombie farm, and as a result I've managed to get all of this as well as 33 levels, although the levels are going to be useless to me since I won't ever be able to build an enchanting table. Uh, but I guess I will take whatever things I can kind of hold on to right here right now, and I will leave some wood in here so that I can take these torches along with me as well. But now we are going to leave, and the next stop is going to be the nether, I guess, because we have our buckets, which, which we can make our nether portal. We've got flint and steel. I am going to use the shovel to go to a snow biome and get some snowballs that we could use against the blazes. And it is nighttime right now, but this area is pretty well protected uh, with torchlight, and so I don't think it'll be too bad, and I also need to go to a chest and kind of organize some inventory before I get ready to go. Ooh, there is a creeper right over there. So I will still be careful. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get some stuff ready, and then we will head to the nether. Snow, snow, snow. So happy to have an iron shovel. Thank you, zombies, for rare drops. Huzzah! All right, the time has come to build our nether portal. And as I'm building this, I will confess that I am a little nervous about the fact that I have never gone into the nether without a pick before. But them's the breaks. That's what we got to do. And so hopefully we'll end up in a good portion of the nether where we'll be able to get the things that we need and not an unlucky portion of the nether where we end up having to carve through tons of nether rack with our bare fists but only time will tell. But I'm going to go ahead and build this portal, and then we'll see what kind of luck we have. Alright, the portal has been constructed. Let's see what awaits us in the nether. Come on, good nether. Alright, well the good news is we're starting out in a closed space which is fortunate because I don't have enough cobble to protect the portal uh, very well. I will go ahead and use some dirt. I have a flint and steel and so even if gas do end up kind of explodifying the portal I won't be too worried but at the same time I don't mind adding a little extra layer of protection over there. But now that we are in the nether why are we here? Well we need to find a fortress and some blazes to kill so that we can start creating some ender eyes to be able to find a stronghold because that is what we will need to do in order to get to the end and so now we start wandering around the nether that lonely walk trying to figure out where it is we need to go and so the good news is there is a nice direction that we can head over here i'm going to place down some dirt so i don't have to walk on soul sand I imagine it won't be long, given the big flat open spaces over here before the gas start attacking us. But we'll worry about that when it happens. And I may want to come back with more dirt. Uh, I'm far enough away from lava over here, actually, that I could play some wood as well. Okay. And so, now I should actually peer at the screen and look around and see if I see any signs of a fortress anywhere. But as of yet, I do not. And so I guess we'll have to pick another direction to go. Looks like there's some good ways to walk over in this direction, and so I guess I'll do that. All right, I'll start wandering around. I'm sure at some point I'll have to bring you guys back in because exciting things will start to happen. But I will see you then. Aha! And after a bit of walking, I believe I see some fortress right down there. And so if I need to walk down there, I think I might have to walk around here and over, actually. Uh, but my portal is kind of back over here. I've been walking around for a few minutes, actually, and I've been surprisingly not accosted by any ghasts. Is there a way to get down over here? Almost. I'm going to have to dig through some of this netherrack. I don't think I'd ever punch through netherrack in this game. Oh, I might not have to. No, I'm still going to have to, well, all right, I need a little bit better of a step down here. But yeah, I think I can make some stairs, and I won't have to actually punch another rack, at least not yet. Oop, and there is the sound of a gas, so we will be careful. And yeah, I haven't really thought about, once I do reach the fortress, um, 
how well armored or not I am and how much of a chance I have against the blazes. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how that's going to go. I guess we'll just have to try it and see. Uh, the worst thing that happens is I die. I'm going to try not to let that happen. But I'm not sure how much control I'll have over it. I will use my sword if and when necessary. And oh, I should go ahead and get uh, some snowballs on my bar, actually. Because they will be useful against the blazes. All right. And so, fortress is down here. And I still don't think there's a good. Oh, crap, oh, crap. Didn't see where he is. Let's try to get a look at him, if I can. There is the ghast, okay. And I think possibly uh, I can try to reflect snowballs back at his, what do you call Ooh, I can pick up another rack this way, which I could then put down and light with the flint and steel as like another lighting method as well, although at this point I have plenty of torches. Uh, but I think I can just try to reflect back the ghast fireballs, and I can also potentially oops, use them to my advantage. Um in that I could use it to kind of mine away some of the uh, netherrack that's over here. Hmm. It looks like there might be a gap over here that I need to traverse. Yep, this is kind of an imperfect place to be trying to go. Oops, and I just took- oh crap, oh crap, now I'm in a lot of trouble. Let's not die. Please don't die. I need to see this coming. All right. I'm at least successfully reflecting the fireballs. Let's see if I can kill the ghast. That would be even better. I am regaining health. Uh, so I will just wait patiently. And see if I can manage to kill him somehow. Maybe, possibly, probably not. I think he's going to go over my head. Alright, still gaining health back. That'll still go over my head. He's getting closer. This one. Right in your face. Boom! Take that, Ghast. Alright, awesome. I don't need Ghast tears for anything, because I'll never be able to brew potions, because I won't be able to craft a potion stand. Uh, but now we can see if there's some way to walk over towards the fortress. So maybe I can walk over over here. Yes, I think I can. Oh, gunpowder, though. That I don't mind. Alright, and we are at the fortress. Great. Uh, keep an eye out for blazes. Because they will be scary. I'll go ahead and get my snowballs armed. And I'm not sure what direction we should go. Let's try this way. I'm going to put torches kind of on the hallway back uh, at the kind of entrance to the hallway that leads back. And so that doesn't seem to go anywhere. So let's try going down over here. But it looks like this might be a dead end. Yes. And... Just to double check, I'm going to punch through a block. Yes, it does seem like the fortress is kind of ending over here. And so all of this is a dead end. And so I think wood is not the best thing to use to build in the nether, but I'll just close things off like that. And we'll try looking around this end of the fortress. Uh, so far, it doesn't seem like the fortress is very big. I'm hoping that it'll be kind of multiple levels or somewhere that I haven't found yet. Uh, but so far it seems like just a little rinky-dink portion of a fortress and not an actual fortress. I'm curious to know if this leads back, well, not very well, back up to where my portal was. That might be an easier way to get back to it, or possibly over here as well. All right, I'm going to do some exploring, and I'll bring you guys back in as necessary. All right, well, I hear a magma cube above us over here. Oh, I'm not really all that keen to fight. Do I see him? Don't actually see him, though. Oh, there he is. He's a little guy. All right, little guy I don't mind fighting, because I can just punch him. Huzzah, huzzah. All right, and this fortress seems to continue going up. I don't know how well you guys can see, so let me add some light. Okay, this seems like it's kind of like the roof portion of the fortress, and so I'm going to go back down and explore some other hallways. Yep, I'll bring you back in as needed. I hear blazes. I haven't seen them yet. But right around this corner I heard them. They might be above me somewhere. 
Or they might be... Yes, it's right there. There's a blaze spawner. Okay, great. Uh, so... Next thing I'm going to do is erect some protection so that I can at least kind of bottleneck them into an area over here. Alright, and I am spawning a bunch of them, and so let's see if I can get just one to kind of like come over in range that I can start trying to hit them. Alright, we just need to get some blaze rods to turn into blaze powder, which we can use for crafting Eyes of Ender. Alright, and I forget how many snowballs it takes, and I also don't know if I'm hitting the same blaze repeatedly, or if I'm hitting different blazes over here, because I've spawned a lot. Crap. Alright, killed one. Great. Don't know that he dropped anything. Haven't gotten caught on fire yet, and so I'm happy about that. But I'm gonna need to restock on snowballs in just a moment. Oop, there we go. I'm on fire. For safety, let's do that. Let's also walk far enough away that we're not spawning anymore, but stay close enough that they don't despawn, hopefully. Um, I want to get more snowballs on my bar. I will also do that, just to have plenty of snowballs. And now that my hearts are coming back up, we will go back over there and see if we can kill another blaze or two. Oops. There he is. Oh, crap, I'm on fire again. Yuck, 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 yuck. And there's a bunch of blazes over there, and even if I do end up getting a blaze rod... Ooh, there's a blaze over here now. I'm not sure if he was a natural spawn in this area of the fortress, but let's see if we can manage to hit him. There's one... There's two. Here come fireballs. Hit him a couple more times. Oh no, he just fell off the edge, and I'm not sure that he's going to be in a reachable location now. Here he goes. There is a blaze rod, but did it fall somewhere where I can get it? Yes. I will go down here happily in order to pick up a blaze rod, even if it means having to pillar back up with some of my valuable blocks. All right, um, we basically need to get as many blaze rods as we can. Uh, and so far I'm doing okay at staying alive. Some of the blazes over there probably will have just despawned. Um, and I don't think this blaze was a spawn from a blaze spawner. And so I could also try to light up the blaze spawner. Let's walk over here and if we don't hear them, I will try to add some light possibly. Yeah, I'm not sure the best strategy for trying to take on this area. Nope, they're still here. Oh my gosh. All right, killed one. Nope. All right. Let's do that. All right, and so I know I killed at least two over there. I'm not sure that I saw either of them actually drop a blaze rod. Um... But I would like to see. Let's go ahead and restack some of these snowballs. And yeah, I'm basically going to try to spend the rest of my snowballs on this. And then run out there and see if we manage to actually um, get any more blaze rods. So let's see what we're up against over here. Alright, there's a blaze rod. Ah, oh, crap. All right, let's regain hearts one more time. And then I'll just kind of bust in there and grab whatever is on the ground. Because it is important to stay alive. I could also walk away and have them all despawn and then go get what's on the ground. That actually might be a better strategy. I'm going to give this a shot anyway, though. Boom! Oh, crap, 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 get out of the way, out of the way, kill me. You're bad, you're bad. I killed you. Haha. Uh -huh. Boom! Alright, I don't know how many blaze rods I got. I'm gonna wait until I get far enough away that I feel safe, and then we'll check our inventory. Four blaze rods. That's enough for eight ender eyes. That is super awesome. 
All right, that is progress. We can always come back here. So then the other thing I need to do is make sure that I can tell uh, where we go in order to get to the blaze spawner. And so I'm going to use little wooden arrows that are kind of pointing at the blaze spawner uh, just for something because I don't have a lot of materials right now to help me find it. Um, but yeah, at this point, I'm going to go back to the real world. All right, there is another blaze over there. So I wonder if there is possibly a spawner somewhere over here. Uh, I'm going to go back to the real world, deposit these blaze rods in a chest, kind of regain a little bit of my own sense of composure. Um, yes, and then, yeah, now we can kind of go back and forth between. All right, except how do I get back? All right, this could be a problem if I'm a little bit lost, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, but basically, I need to, so I blocked this off. And that off. And so where did I come from? Oh, I just walked in over here. Okay, great. Oh, this is really easy to get to, actually. Oh, that's fantastic. I did not realize how easy this is to get to. Okay, so basically, we need to go back to the real world now and start finding fighting Endermen, and then use Endermen and Blaze Powder to create Ender Eyes. And then we can locate the Stronghold. And then, yeah, all kinds of good things will happen. And right, because I walked in from right over here. Okay, great. So I will see you guys back in the real world. All right, and successfully made it back to the portal without incident. So that is super happy. All right, and here we are, the sun is going down. And let's see, I think I'll actually go back to the village. Uh, and so I will see you guys in a little bit.